so welcome back to another episode and in the next few weeks is the Tokyo Game Show September 15th to the 18th and it's something I look forward to every year for myself growing up in the 80s and 90s I really grew up in a time where a lot of Japanese games were coming to home consoles I grew up with you know a lot of JRPGs I fell in love with the medium I fell in love with Japanese games in general arcade games everything like that and so every year I look forward to the Tokyo Game Show to see what's coming out, uh, you know, from Japan. And let me see, what do I first of all want to talk about? The Nintendo NX. Will it be shown at the Tokyo Game Show? I don't think so. I really don't think Nintendo is going to unveil it there. It would be a hell of a thing. I think they'd already be saying, yeah, we're going to show it at the Tokyo Game Show, building some hype. But I think Nintendo's going to do their own Nintendo Direct in the future, talking about it and unveiling it. You know, controlling it a lot more with videos showing a lot of their games and stuff like that. I don't think they're just going to do like a press conference at the Tokyo Game Show. But it'd be great if they did, but I'm very doubtful on it. But I think a lot of games will have NX releases as well. So we already know that Dragon Quest XI will have an NX release. So that, they've already announced things like that. So uh, I think there'll be other Japanese games that are going to say, hey, yeah, it's going to come on the NX. But still, the NX is a mystery. Now, there's a couple of pipe dreams here. There really is. Fantasy Star Online 2 coming to the PlayStation 4. I'm wondering if there will be a US release on it. I wonder if they're gonna say something like, yeah, it's coming out and it's coming to the States and all around the world as well. That would be awesome. That's a pipe dream. I've been waiting for this game for so long. So many people have been playing it on PC for years and you know, going through all the headaches and making that work and stuff like that. I would just I just want an official release, my god. I'm I'm kind of nervous about it. If we ever did get that, I'd be lost in that game. As I say, Fantasy Star Online on the Dreamcast on uh, on the GameCube, I spent 750 hours plus playing those games. So, yeah, Double Edged Sword, do I want it? Do I not? Uh, hopefully it's released. I hope they I hope we get a release date. Final Fantasy 7 the remake. I I think they're going to show a little bit more on that. Will there be a release date on that? I don't think so. I think they're going to wait for the hype and for the drop of Final Fantasy 15 before they start really getting crazy announcing other Final Fantasy games. They, this Final Fantasy 15 game has been a long time coming. It's been, you know, they did a release, uh, a release party to give a release date, and then they changed that release date. We're getting it in late November now, but it is coming out and it's been a long time coming. Final Fantasy 7 though, the remake, we're all waiting for that. I think they'll announce that maybe just into the new year, but that's just me guessing on that one. Now, it is the 20th anniversary of Wild Arms, a great RPG, a Western kind of sci-fi RPG on the PlayStation 1. That's where I originally played it. I fell in love with it, finished that game 20 years ago. I can't believe it. That's so, I can't believe it was 20 years ago, but Wild Arms, it doesn't seem that long ago. Wonderful game. I loved it. It was fantastic. And there's a rumor that they're going to show something at the Tokyo Game Show for the 20th anniversary. Uh, maybe another remake of Wild Arms, which they've already kind of done. I, I don't know really what they're going to do there. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But fingers crossed in that one. More Resident Evil 7. I, you know, Resident Evil 7 has kind of divided the community. Some people are like, hey, I, it looks like something brand new, I like it. And other people are like, it doesn't look like anything like Resident Evil. And I'm somewhere in the middle. I've kind of settled somewhere in the middle. I kind of like the idea of what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. That's the thing. I need to see more. They need to show more. I need more out of it. I'd really like a little bit more Resident Evil, you know, kind of aspects that we were you be, being used to over the years. I'd like it to be more Resident Evil. It's kind of like a bit of a house haunting PT scare fest right now. And, uh, you know, I like the VR aspects. I'm really into that. I can't wait to play it in VR. No matter what, I'm playing Resident Evil 7, no matter what. But I just, don't, I really don't know what it is right now. I still, they've shown a little bit more and I still don't know what it is. I need more information. So hopefully the Tokyo Game Show, we get what we want. Now the next game is Nina Kune. I'd like to see a little bit more on Nina Kune 2 shown. I, there's been a little bit teased and stuff like that, but I, I liked the original game. I love the animation. I love the world setting, the character designs. I mean, it was unbelievable. The combat was 
not really totally my bag that way, but I still appreciated it a lot, and I'd love to see more to do with Nina Kune too. Okay, so in every episode like this, I have to have a ridiculous dream game that, I, and it's, to me, it doesn't seem this ridiculous what I'm asking for, but it is kind of, it's stretching it a little bit. Skies of Arcadia 2, or, hey, that's stretching it, I get it. How about just this, a Skies of Arcadia remastered. Remastered, I know years ago they came out with the GameCube version, that's appreciated, but a full-on high definition remastering. That would be something else. Lower the combat rate a bit. Lower the combat rate a bit. That would be a wonderful thing. I love Skies of Arcadia. And it was about a you know pirates in this open sky world and people lived on giant continents that were floating and really cool monster designs, fantastic soundtrack, and a game that was made by Sega and we've been Wanting it for like, oh god, it's been 16 years, it must be now, to want a sequel or a remastering. I'll take whatever I can get from Sega. So, anything on Shenmue 3 as well. I wonder if they'll show anything from Shenmue 3 down there. I'm not sure. They're already doing a good job keeping us updated, but god damn it, I'm greedy. I want more. So, what would you guys like to see shown, released? Uh, you know, even dream games at the Tokyo Game Show. So, anyways, guys, until next time.